start. <laughs> okay, so some of the things that go on um, with your health that might not necessarily be categorized by a doctor making a diagnosis as hyperthyroid or hypothyroid, but are very real and very debilitating. Achy muscles, memory loss, brittle nails, puffy eyes, PMS, depression. How many people in this country are on antidepressant medications? <laughs> And when they go to the doctor and the doctor, um, they say to the doctor, but it's not working, I don't feel better. The doctor raises the dose or gives them another medication, but never discusses, um, do you have any of these symptoms? Um, blood sugar instability, migraine headaches. Very, very interesting because certainly breast cancer risk is among one of the most significant aspects. Think of how many women are going annually for their mammograms and, and in fear because they're finding something and it has to be followed up. But nobody tells them, okay, you need to take your temperature. If your temperature is under 98 degrees, you need to pay attention to supporting your thyroid. Um, autoimmune disorders, night blindness, tremor, your risk of osteoporosis. And once again, here's all of these people out there um, being diagnosed with osteopenia based on a bone density scan and nobody talked to them about are you on any kind of medication for your thyroid because does anybody need water? Um, there's water here, okay. Um, nobody talks to them that taking Synthroid over an extended period of time can surely contribute to um, loss of bone density. Irritability, abdominal swelling, the, one of the most common, constipation, like, like the um, uh, osteoporosis <coughs> drugs, like the uh, drugs for depression. So many people are just really disturbing their digestive systems by pounding way too much insoluble fiber. Um, to try to overcome their, their constipation problems. Frequent sinus infections and sinus headaches. Miscarriage and infertility. I'm sure people in this, this room um, know of young couples that are being treated by fertility specialists and spending obscene amounts of money um, for that treatment. A hoarse voice, weakness, anxiety, arthritis. How many people are pounding down NSAIDs and all different types of substances that are meant to relieve muscle aches and joint pain? Insomnia. Again, people just taking so many different prescription medications. So, have I mentioned something? for everyone here in this room? Yes. <laughs> okay. And have you had any discussion with your physicians about, is this your thyroid? And, you know, you might have brought it up to your doctor, but the doctor says, well, your blood tests, they're fine, you're fine. Here, let me write this prescription. So, it's a very, very sad state of affairs, and um, there, the good news is there's lots of information uh, about supporting your thyroid naturally, lots and lots of information about natural products that will support your thyroid to the extent that will make you overcome your symptom or your diagnosis. Um, Suzanne Summers talks about in her book that it is one of the most underdiagnosed, least understood, and um, undertreated. 
and if you're, you're lucky enough to have a physician that actually recognized that your thyroid isn't functioning, most likely he's giving you Synthroid. And Synthroid leaves a lot to be desired. As I said, if you're on it long term, um, you're increasing your risk for um, arthritis, osteoporosis, osteoporosis, osteopenia. And unfortunately, what the doctors are depending on for their diagnosis have to do with um, uh, your blood tests. And unfortunately, it doesn't tell the whole story. So they're looking at TSH mainly. I see a lot of blood tests where that's the only test to possibly diagnose thyroid dysfunction when indeed the, the blood test picture needs to be much more involved. It needs to have T3, T4, as well as TSH. And in problem cases, you really need to be looking at free T3, free T4, and reverse T3. Um, again, as you get deeper into this, it's possible that you might even need to have a test of thyroid antibodies. So there's so many things that are available there to really give you an idea of how to um, zero in on the underlying cause of your problem. And m most of the time, the doctors, unfortunately, are not using all of the tools at their disposal. The TSH comes from your pituitary. So the, the pituitary signals your thyroid with a hormone called thyroid-stimulating hormone, TSH, and your thyroid theoretically responds. If your adrenals aren't working, if you're exposed, to, if you're iodine deficient, if you are um, deficient in certain proteins, particularly um, the amino acid tyrosine, there are a lot of very specific underlying deficiencies that could so much contribute to your issue. And you're, you're looking at the blood work and, okay, the TSH is fine. But what the pituitary is doing is not creating the, the physical response that you're looking for. So um, the TSH is in your bloodstream. Your thyroid is supposed to manufacture thyroxin. And the thyroxin is the T4, okay? And maybe your thyroid responds and it manufactures thyroxin. And that thyroxin gets into your blood, that signals the pituitary, okay, calm down with the TSH. But the T T4, the thyroxin, doesn't do anything. It needs to be converted. In order to have an active response in your body, the T4 thyroxin needs to be converted into triiodothyrosine. And um, the that conversion doesn't happen if you're deficient in iodine, if you're deficient in selenium. And a very, very particular form of selenium, if you're taking a supplement, it needs to be selenomethionine, not sodium selenite, not selenate, but selenomethionine. Spell that, please. Oh, oh, I thought this was a lecture, not a test. It's S-E-L-E-N-O-M-E-T-H-I-O-N-E. Okay. Yeah, that's who makes who, who makes selenomethionine? Um, I know that Jaro Formulas has selenomethionine. I'm pretty sure that New Chapter does. I'm pretty sure that Solar does, Country Life does. More and more and more of the companies are um, getting very scientifically focused. And they're not just putting 
um, any source of a particular mineral or trace mineral in their formulations. They're making sure that it is what people need and what is going to achieve the benefit for them.